Hey everybody, um, welcome back. If you're new, hi, I'm Mim and this is my watercolour peacock drawing. Uh, which I start off by just sort of a really delicate light guide um, of what I want the shape to be like, you know, how I want the picture to sit in relation to the paper, in relation to the, the anatomy of the bird as well, which to be fair with a lot of my paintings I won't sketch the image in first, however with birds I do because um, you, you put the eye in the wrong place or the beak in the wrong place and it just throws the whole thing off so it's best to sort of try and make sure you've got that at least relatively correct. So I'm using a really basic palette for this which you wouldn't think that would be the case because obviously there's such colourful birds but you only need a very few colours to create all of them so I've got one green, um, I've got ultramarine blue and I've got a yellow ochre and a bright yellow and, and oh yeah black as well. So I start off by just doing a real light wash of my basic tones and just giving myself kind of a almost like a map of where I want to put everything. I wanted to keep the background really soft for this one, not put too much detail. I wanted all the detail to be about the face. So what you'll see now is I start using a kind of bouncing technique with my paintbrush and uh, I do that just so I can start building up a bit of texture in the feathers. It's, it sounds a little bit odd, like a bouncing technique. I, I don't know if there's a proper term for that. It's just that's the way that I paint. Um, haphazard all over the place and most of the time works out, basically. Uh, you can see I just start building up the colour a little bit at a time. You just have a little bit of patience with it. There are so many layers that go into this before it becomes a finished picture. And to be honest, I didn't realise quite how many until I watched the video back myself, so this was a bit of a, a learning curve even for, for me to see the way I paint, because <laughs> it's not like you always just kind of sit back and watch what you've painted after you've done it, so this is, you know, actually quite fun. So I've made a start obviously in marking out the eye and the beak as well, um, again going with my lighter tones first and just very slowly building them up. Uh, the beak is not just one colour, there are hints of brown and green in there as well, um, probably just mostly from the light reflecting uh, from the colours of the feathers and the light shining down on the bird but you know it's not just one flat colour. Uh, I don't like doing things just one flat colour anyway and I think that's probably why I enjoy painting birds to be fair. So as you can see I'm still using that kind of real chaotic bouncing technique to get the texture in. But it does work, it all comes together in the end. So you can see now I've gone in with a smaller paintbrush. I tend to only use these two paintbrushes for most of my uh, work that I do and they are not expensive, they are just from the range and they work really well for me. So obviously I've concentrated on the main part of the image first, I've got all the detail in and now I can see how much I want to add detail to the background. That way I can make sure I've got the balance how I want it because again I don't want the background to be too detailed or too busy. Uh, a much wetter paintbrush for the background and then this is a, it says it's an acrylic pen, I wouldn't really say it is but yeah, just add some white highlights. And then here you go, this is the finished piece and hopefully that wasn't too boring, thank you.